Parents go nuts when it comes to their kids. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Bob McKenzie to learn more about how this level-headed hockey analyst turned into a crazy hockey dad. Why did you write this book? Is it sort of a self-help book? Yeah, a little bit of it was that. I had two boys that had completely different experiences in terms of positive and negative. You know, I thought there was an, an entertainment value there. I thought there were some funny stories. We used to sit around with my buddies and while it was you know, while we were being hockey dads and we talk about some of the crazy nonsense that went on and we'd laugh about it and we'd say you can't make this stuff up. Now you're known for your level-headedness which obviously in the book kind of uh, falls by the wayside let's say. What do you think it is about sports in general that kind of make parents go nuts? The mistakes I made or the things I did that I shouldn't have done the, you know, I can break them out into different categories. Some of them were the best of intentions. Like sometimes if I was kind of grinding my kids a little bit, it was because I wanted them to, to instill the good values like work ethic, commitment, discipline, respect, all, all those things. So sometimes you push that a little far and you become a bit of a stage parent. But it was that, that was an honorable intention. Then there were other times when you just, you know, you, you're protective maybe of, of your kids and you thought they were getting a raw deal and that somebody was trying to harm them and that you wanted to kind of send a message, you can't harm my kid and get away with it. So and those are the dangerous ones because that can escalate in pretty rapidly. What's the craziest thing you ever did as a hockey parent? Reader's Digest version is the, the coach of the opposing team had instructed every player on his team to try and fight my son. And I was actually an NHL scout was at the game watching it and he kind of set me off because I, was, I wasn't happy about it but I was kind of just sitting there taking my lumps and watching it. And it was getting near the end of the second period and the scout said to me, is it always like this for your son? Does this always happen? I said, no, it's not usually this bad. And he goes, well, it's sickening. He says, I've been watching it. He says, it's just sickening what they're doing out there. That coach is obviously you know, telling these guys to do this. And I thought about it and I said, yeah, you're right. Sort of verbally challenged uh, the coach between periods that if he wanted to fight McKenzie so bad, come on up to the stands. And he said, why don't you come down here? So I went down. And it was only as I was walking down there, I said, what the hell am I doing? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be on the front page of the Toronto Sun rink rage, hockey insider, lose my job, my career, seriously. And, and, and I, but, but at the same time, you, you don't wanna show weakness, so you gotta go down there, but I used my wit to get me out of it. My only fear in writing the book was that because you put all these snapshots out, that it creates the illusion that everything about this minor hockey experience was nuts. When in fact, it's kind of the opposite. You know, just about everything about it was great, but I don't know that that would make a very good book. Thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure.